Welcome to another Books and Things with Tom. And every once in a while, I get a guest that I like to have back. And this today's guest has been here. This is his third time. And uh, his name is Frankie Justin Lamprey. He's a teenager, and that's doing wonders on the country music. <laughs> and uh, welcome, Frankie. I'm well, thank you. Thank you. you so much. Sir. And he's brought with him his lead guitar, Matt Bureau. Bureau. Thank you for coming. Thank you. And very much. Uh, we're going to hear from them both on, on guitar shortly. Uh, as I said, this is the third time he's been on here. And uh, many of you asked me when he's going to have him back. So here he is. Uh, we have, uh, he brought Matt, and Matt actually taught you how to play. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. How in the world? Did you ever think that you were creating something like this? No. I mean, this is it's phenomenal that you teach a guy how to, how to play. And that, that wasn't that long ago. Right. Four, four or five years? Well, uh, September of 2010. Yeah. And I, you're now 15? Yes, sir. You're going to be 16 soon. May, yep. In yeah. May? May what? Uh, May 27th, yes. Sir. I'm just after me. I'm May 6th. Oh, cool. But good people born in May. Hey, happy you birthday. birthday. <laughs> <laughs> but he just went above and beyond whatever you taught him. Came in knowing two chords, yeah. and we started writing songs right away. We wrote a song right away, and uh, he showed it to his dad and all that, and they came back like... He was looking. He was taking lessons in Nashville, but he's only down there a few months out of the year. Yeah. So they they said find a teacher at home. So I'm in Salem, Connecticut, Four Corners there, and he's in, from Colchester. Yeah. yeah. So they walked in, and they would leave for like months. I didn't know what was going on. <laughs> I didn't know where their home was. <laughs> and they'd, they'd be like, we're leaving for a while. And I'd be like, I, where does he live? You know, I didn't know anything about him. We just kind of met. We do like a few months, and then he'd be gone, and he'd come back and take a few. But the hardest worker you're ever gonna meet. Really? Hardest work you're ever gonna meet. And that's what it takes if you really want to master something. Like yeah. but not just guitar playing vocally. He trains his vocals and his guitar playing and, and just comes out and and that's it. If all my students were like that, it'd be an easy job. Wouldn't it? Wow. That's amazing. And and now you're in his band. Yeah. Yeah. We and started the uh, band. He won uh in Hebron at the Harvest Fest there. Right. Uh, at the Hebron Fair. He he won uh, the whole competition. So right out that day, I went to his dad and mom and said, we need to start a band because this kid's got something. Yeah. You know, he won it, and we just started the band. I called this lady, Wendy Barrett, from New London, mm -hmm. who uh, we had jammed a little bit at the store. We have a stage at the store, so we, we do jams, and she was there, and she, we jammed one day, and we talked about it, but it never happened until he won that Harvest Fair, and I said, let's start a band, and we're playing and writing CDs. And wow. Yeah. Those people. That's amazing, because I had seen you at Miss Womacket. Sir, <coughs> excuse me. At the Steve Daggett. Yeah, show. yeah, yeah. Back in, uh, I believe it was the start of 2014. Pretty much, yeah. yeah the winter yeah. show, yeah. Winter yeah. show, winter yes, show. sir. The CD release party for Steve Daggett, yeah. Yeah, and the, uh, and I heard heard him and I heard you and I, I this kid's got got some good stuff, <laughs> and I grabbed him out in the parking lot. <laughs> yeah. And he goes, Dad, <laughs> and so we uh, hooked up for the for the first show, because. Yeah, you, know, you recognize good talent, and you want to help them, and that's why I want you, well, you on the TV much. show to give you thank some, you. some pe get some people. And matter of fact, there's so uh, there's a lady that we're going to talk about in a few minutes that is just she loves you, <laughs> and uh, and that's a good thing. That you know? that you know you can't ask for that. That's what you hope for when you start music. People love yeah. your music, and you don't sing for yourself. No. <laughs> to do that in show. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> but you uh, you want to be able to get known and, and T V is the best one of the better places to get known. Yes. Besides sir. the radio. And uh, and this way they get to see who you are and be able to listen to who you play. Exactly. And, yep. Which is the whole thing. Exactly. And so far I've done all the talking, so <laughs> uh, now tell us about some of your uh, accolades. I know you've in the, uh, you've been Northeast Invitational Male Vocalist in the, of the Year and Male Entertainer of the Year. Yeah, it was, uh, I won that back in November and uh, that was really great. Uh, I performed my <coughs> songs up there. Mm -hmm. uh, well, they were covers, but I went and performed them up there. Um, I was fortunate, blessed enough to win those two awards of Entertainer of the Year and Male Vocalist of the Year. And that was uh, just something that was really exciting and I'm blessed to hold. Now, do you have to get a new room to put all your trophies in? <laughs> <laughs> we got we got a table, a couple different pieces of furniture, but we got them on. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. Now you uh, 
You're coming out with a CD. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And uh, tell us about that. Her Blue Eyes, which you wrote. Yes, sir. It's uh, our brand new record coming out. Me and my band, Rough Stock, went in and recorded it. And it's going to be a six-song EP. It's uh, going to be released pretty soon here, probably within the next couple months. Uh, we're still finishing up. I got to still work on some tracks for my songs. Yeah. And uh, the brand new single is going to be coming out. And uh, that's going to be this upcoming Friday which is April 17th, we're going to be releasing it. And uh, it's called Country Baby. Uh, we play it at our shows. The people uh, love the songs, and uh, it's and going to be a good CD. Is that something you, Country Baby is the name of the album? or The song. The song, the song. The single. Yeah. Is that something you wrote? Yeah. Yes, sir. Me and Matt Bureau wrote that song. Like, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I've been playing music for 100 years. I don't know how to write anything. <laughs> yeah. That's another one of his talents that's just unbelievable. That's, I mean, you got your singing, you're playing, and then the songwriting is a whole other talent. Yeah. And it, it's, he came to me, we wrote songs together, and then one day he comes in with Her Blue Eyes, another song called Justin Texas, and I'm just all by himself, not even my help at all. And, I, and that's, what, that's what's bringing him you know, to the next level of success. Yeah. There's no doubt, the songwriting, because it's another, our, our artists use other people's stuff a lot but if you can write your own stuff and have that talent yeah. and on the road this past time he was in Nashville he just came home with two brand new songs he played for me yesterday the writing just come progressed yeah it's oh, amazing. thank you it's unbelievable Matt's I mean first lesson like I said I came in knowing two chords I knew E chord the A chord and I thought I knew G I pressed the G note <laughs> and so uh, he says no that's not G you put this finger here and this finger here he goes how about we write a song? I go, what? <laughs> I'm like, I haven't even learned the guitar yet. He's like, hey, start now. <laughs> and uh, he would teach me that would be our lessons. We'd learn the chords, we'd learn the music, but then we'd uh, we'd write a song and the chords would go along with the song. And it was just really something cool. Wow. Yeah. That's amazing. Now, the 50s music, I think it was only two chords, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> two or three. Once oh, yeah. It was, very uh, simple music. It's true. It's true. Wow. And that's a hard thing to write a new song with the same two oh, or three yeah. chords that you <laughs> there's only so many chords in music to write yeah. a new original words and melody yeah. is, the, is the trick and he has that talent no doubt it comes out that's it comes out that's amazing and uh maybe we can get you on one voice one day yes sir <laughs> get you on the talent shows up there oh yeah they make a lot of money <laughs> yeah but you, you'll get paid back for all the expenses and everything oh. eventually well thank you yeah it's it's a fun deal, like I said. It's been a blast. It's like writing books. You don't write for the money. Yeah. <laughs> right. You write because people like to enjoy it. Because you That's love for it. Sure. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. You love it. Otherwise, it's, if you're going to do it for the money, you're broke. <laughs> <laughs> but I can see where you're going for some place. And, and I think the sounds of a new CD is going to be great. Well, thank you, sir. Thank you very and, much. Uh, now, I had a question. Yeah. Are you have a new uh, sponsor? Yes, sir, I do. That is Dillion Guitars. Dillion. Uh, Dillion, yes, sir. And uh, it's my electric guitar sponsor. Oh, I was just playing with it yesterday. Me and Matt and our drummer had a band rehearsal. Yeah. And I started playing some lead guitar for uh, some of the upcoming shows that we're going to be doing. And uh, just that thing has some of the best tones for an electric. Yeah. I, it's like a, a uh, Paul Reed Smith type guitar. It's just, oh, I love that guitar. It's, wow. it's my baby. <laughs> well, that's cool. Yep, but uh, you can find Dillion Guitars right over here at Mr. Matt Bureau's store, the Music Bureau. Ah, that's right, Music Bureau in Salem. Salem Four yes, Corners. Yes, sir. Right. Salem Four Corners. And uh, we can't advertise your business, but we can. Uh, we know where you're coming from. Mm -hmm. uh, this isn't a show for yeah, yeah. sponsoring no no businesses, problem. but when you have a uh, talent that's uh, available and you do instructions. And uh, maybe I'll take a run up there. It's not so damn far. It's not that bad. <laughs> it's not that bad for you. No, because Salem's not bad. No, that's right there. Uh, now, you, you won a national award for Her Blue Eyes. Yes, sir, I did. And that was? That was down uh, Nack May. I won a songwriter award for uh, <laughs> Her Blue Eyes. And that was, that was something right there. For, when you perform and you get an award, that is just over the top. That's amazing. But then when you get for a song that you wrote, that's another one of those things. It's yeah. over the top. It's <laughs> wow. And that was at uh, Country Tonight Theater. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. In Pigeon Forge, Tennessee. Oh yeah. <laughs> I like that name, Pigeon Forge. <laughs> oh, it's right near Gatlinburg, and oh, yeah, I love that place. place. Yeah. We, we stopped there when we went down to Nashville this past. Now, do you August. take the whole band with you? 
I, they, I, Matt has been down there. I just went for a week to visit when he was down there. We played like four shows just because yep. he's known down there. Like you wouldn't believe when you go down there how he's known. He, they invite him to play anywhere you go. People huh. dream of that. You know, they play down there all their life and they don't get to play on those stages. He gets to play. As soon as he walks into a place, Frankie's here, the star's here, get him up on the stage. <laughs> oh, wow. No matter who's playing. So, and I got, I was fortunate to be with him, so I got to play some guitar in some of the, yeah. some of the play, venues and we oh, had some that's fun. that's cool. We had a blast, man. That was one heck of a trip. <laughs> wow. Huh. But you're, you're going all over the place. Oh, yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah. And now you go to Tennessee and Kentucky? Yeah. Yep, Texas. I go to Kentucky, Texas, Mississippi, Tennessee, everywhere. <laughs> That's, uh, and your mom goes with you? Oh, yeah, my mom, my dad, my sister, our family goes, and sometimes me and my mom or me and my dad. Yeah. And uh, it's just, I have a support system. My family really... It's very lucky. Yeah. You know, cause I, boy, without, exactly. So you need that support. And uh, it's it's nice that they do. Does your sister sing? She does, actually. She really? sings uh, theater music, yep. Got one beautiful angelic She's, voice. Hey, everyone says their sister is good, but like, for the first time, unbelievable. She can play <laughs> and sing. Like her voice is just unreal. Like, equal talent as him. So and she works just as hard. something and in, include her. Oh yeah, she's yeah. she's always uh she likes to stick with the theater on. She does her she's own always, theater. Yeah. yeah. And how old is she? She's thirteen. She just turned. Wow. Yep. I can see we're gonna have to take. Two cars. <laughs> <laughs> one to one New to York, the... one to Nashville. Yeah, that's right. I'm, I'm talking also to his mom, who's standing over in the back of her, <laughs> and she goes everywhere with him, and she's her man, his manager, basically. Is that right? <laughs> okay. <laughs> and if you want to find out anything, you have to contact her, and uh, using the uh, Facebook and uh, uh, website. And there's also a email address. What's your email address? Uh, CASL1966 at yahoo.com. Very good. Yep. And uh, if you go on Facebook, they're on there all over the place. And that's a good thing. And uh, Reverberation? Uh, Reverb Nation, yes, Nation. sir. Nation, Reverb yep. Nation. Yep. Number one. Yes, sir. I just uh, recently became number one on Reverb Nation. <laughs> You're phenomenal. You're, I, I'm glad I met you. Well, uh, thank you. Good I'm, kid. I'm glad I met you, too. You're really a good kid. Thank you. And it's, uh, it's hard to find, but they, uh, let's see, because we're upset. Uh, coming up, you've got Butterballs in Hebron. Yes, sir. April 17th. Friday, April uh, 17th, and that is where we're going to be releasing our single right there. Exactly. Uh, Country Baby, which is Friday, April 17th. That's going to be kind of the show party to support it. We got a bunch of upcoming dates. which That's a great Thomas. upbeat song, Country Baby. It uh, features Ryan Spills Leonard, which yep. is a, a rap artist who has his own material out. Oh, really? He does a rap. He wrote a rap uh, tailored to that song. Yes, sir. Uh, Country Baby, and it's unreal. It, it, like the energy of that song. Everyone wants to play it again. Play it again. It's just it's a fun song. That's going to yeah. be a song you're going to want to crank up on your radio. I always, I'm always... Uh, having a blast when yeah. I sing that song with my band is just one and of those this, songs. And this is a Friday. Yeah. Yes, sir. A week from tomorrow. Friday night. Oh, yeah. What time? It is going to be at around 9 o'clock, 8.30. 8.39 to 8 about 12.30 in the morning, yeah. It's a long show. It's a long drive. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and then you got a benefit? Yes, sir. In Columbia. Yes, sir, right up at Columbia, April 25th. I believe that's Saturday? Yep. Yep, right down there at the Yeoman's Hall, right there. And what's the benefit for? I believe it's for, um, I think, a camp, like some kind of camp for cancer for kids. You know, I'm pretty sure that's what. I think they do a different cause each year, so I'm not sure. What yeah, they, this they year. do a different. We've done it's it a, a few years in a row. We've done it a few years in a row, and they, yeah. yeah. It's a it's a big turnout though. Two to three hundred people show up. It's and a good a, charity event. A lot event. of good yeah. talent. We close the show at the end. Hmm. It's pretty, pretty yes, fun. sir. That's great. And they got uh, Shootgate Steakhouse. Yes, sir. Shootgate Steakhouse is a great venue. One of our I love playing that place. It's so western and it's just a great place. That'll be May first. May first. And uh, that's yeah. gonna be that's gonna be a good show. Make sure Terryville, Connecticut. That's it. Terryville. Yeah. Bristol. And that's the other way. Yes, sir. That's far from here. <laughs> and then uh, you got a Woodstock Fair coming up. Yes, sir. September. Yep, right there in September. Uh, Woodstock Fair is. I don't have to say. Everybody knows how Woodstock Fair. Oh yeah, that's amazing. Uh, why don't we uh, 
get your guitars and play a couple of songs. All right, that sounds good. And we're gonna start out with, which song, Radio? Radio. And then Her Blue Eyes. Yes, sir. Yeah, we're all anxious to hear the Her Blue Eyes. Take a minute or so to get them set up. Okay. F sharp, right? All right. We're gonna do this song for you here by Mr. Darius Rucker, and I hope y'all like it. It's called Radio. <laughs> Thank you very much. Very good. Thank you. Now, Her Blue Eyes is your new one that's going to be on the CD. Yes, sir. And is Radio on there too? Or? Radio is a song uh, recorded by Darius Rucker, and we're not going to have that one on there. Yeah. But okay. uh, all six of our originals on the EP are going to be brand new on there. Oh, I can't <laughs> wait for that. All right, Thank let's you. hear Her Blue Eyes. All right. Well, I wrote this song, and uh, this one goes out to all you girls with blue eyes. <laughs>
gonna take this truck and drive Down every floor and road, me and her can't find Hey, she looks great, shotgun Hey, she looks great anywhere when she is wearing her Tony Lomas That headband that she wore when she won in Fort Worth And that perfume that drives me warm Most of all, I do love her blue eyes oh. And she looks just like an angel Sitting right beside of me Oh, she looks amazing In her Tony Lomas That headband that she wore She wanted for work And that perfume That drives me warm of all Thank you very much. Thank like you so that. much. Excellent. Whew. And you wrote that. Son of a gun. <laughs> That's amazing. Thank you. I uh, I would like to get these signed. Yes, sir. My friend, Margaret Benoit, okay. has been a good friend of mine for a very long time. And she calls me up, when are you going to have that kid on? <laughs> and I called her last week. I said, Frankie's going to be on Thursday, so you're going to have to be there. You're going to have to watch it. And it's her birthday next week. Oh, man. So would you do me a favor and autograph this photograph for her? Of course and, I would. And wish her a happy, happy birthday. Happy birthday, Margaret. My gosh. Thank you so much. Thank you. Got to please the fans. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Thank you so much, sir. Oh. Oh, just, I get a little carried away myself and doing my books and I have to autograph books. <laughs> it's a nice feeling to autograph a book for somebody. That's great. Very good. And it means somebody wants it. It's interested in you. You know what? That, that Like I was saying earlier, that's the biggest thing. When yeah. somebody loves your music and loves your books and lo loves what you do, that, that's what makes it's, it worthwhile. Yes, it does. Because yes, you sir. Go, here we go. Thank you so much. Really Happy birthday. And then I'm going to have to ask you to do one for me. Right? All right. <laughs> Until I feel it. It is always, <laughs> always fun. Always a pleasure. Yeah. Being on your show. Oh, My gosh. thanks. I enjoy having you here. That's, uh, like I said, we're going to have to have him back again this summertime when his CD is out. And the, uh, we can go. tell people what they are. Thank you very much. Thank you. So where, where are you playing this summer besides, oh, I got, besides uh, these things? I got some shows uh, July, yep. I believe. July 11th. Fourth of July. Fourth of July. At, uh, Fourth of July with uh, Steve Daggett, Sandy's Lighthouse. Yep. Yeah, we'll be right there. up there. And uh, July 18th, I believe, we have with uh, a farm up in South Glastonbury. Ah. Uh, July 11th, I believe that is. Yeah. Member uh, yeah. Miss Bryan's, and uh, we got some good shows coming up. Are you going to be back at the North Arlington Fair? I don't believe I will be. I'm not exactly We're sure, not yet. sure yet. We're the not sure yet. The fair season isn't booked 100 percent yet. Yeah. You know, so. Not sure. Yeah. And how about the uh, Ledger Fair? Ledger Fair. I'm not sure we're doing that. Yeah. Like like you said, the fair yeah. season isn't all. Yeah. Yeah. It's just starting. It's not yeah. set yet. I'm trying to get in a couple of fairs myself to get to sell my books. Yep. I got, we're lined up for the Basra Fair. Oh, that's nice. And uh, I don't know, I've never been there. Okay. Uh, so we only got a few minutes left. All right. Anything you'd like to add? 
Great. It's been a pleasure being here. Thank you so much for having us. Thank you. It's been a pleasure meeting you. Having fun. Just music is fun and see what you can do if you work hard. That's that's what I like to add. You know, this is the You gotta want it. You gotta want it, exactly. You gotta, you gotta love it. it too. He's having fun. It's yeah. not work, you know. He's working hard, but it doesn't never never practice your guitar. Yeah. Play your guitar every day and have fun, you know, and then it's it'll then the results will come. Well, people don't understand practicing. Yeah. And like these uh, baseball players and everybody else. They wouldn't be who, be who they are if they didn't practice. They live it. You live it. You have yeah. to live it and yeah. enjoy it. If you do, you'll know if you don't enjoy it. It'll yeah. show, you know. You we'll work on fun. music every single day, you yeah. know. And I, I really, my guitar playing, Matt would teach me. But, you know, you can, like Matt's saying, a good way to do it is practice an hour a day, hour yeah. and a day, uh, an hour a day at least with yeah. your guitar or with whatever, whatever you're doing. Like Matt's saying, you know, you work at it and you practice at it. Yeah. And you find out that you can do it easier and better. Yep. Yes, sir. And, uh, you also do homeschooling. Yes, sir, I do. And, yep. uh, so that's not neglected either. <laughs> Mom makes sure that she gets his homework done. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And, uh, and you gotta have you got to have an education. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You can't be a... Uh... Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so, 16 years old, you're going to be getting a car soon? Yeah. And... <laughs> Permit at least, that, that's yeah. right around the corner, yo. Wow. I don't know, Mom. They get nervous when they get those licenses. You know? <laughs> My grandson just started driving. <laughs> and he's 20. <laughs> he just decided to wait for some reason. Oh, yeah. The, uh, a lot of responsibility behind the wheels. Oh, yeah. That's 100% sure. Scary place to be. And so, what kind of car are you going to get? You know, well, my favorite kind of truck, a pickup truck, is my favorite kind of vehicle. So <laughs> it had to be that. That's about it. it had to be a truck. Uh, next week, I'm going to start the uh, Denison Farm Market series. And this is to inform the viewers of the vendors at the market and what they do, what they grow, the problems of GMOs, uh, what is organic, the farmer's day when it starts, when he or she is done for the day. And if you talk to most of them, they haven't had a vacation in many years because they're tending to the crops and whatever. Now, that series is going to air on Thursday nights, and it'll be a separate show from this one. This one will be still, books and things will still run from 9 to 9.30, and then I'm going to start the farmer series at 9.30 to 10 o'clock. And I'm going to try to do both the Denison Farm Market and the Stonington uh, Market at the docks. Uh, next time you're in Groton, stop in and see our studio. It's almost uh, two years old now. And uh, it's a great place to, to, to check out. we got uh, great cameras. We have great people running everything here. And it's running donations and uh, nonprofit. So if you'd like to give us a uh, donation, we'd appreciate that. And, uh, and we're down here at the uh, shopping plaza in between Benny's and uh, the post office. So if you'd like to stop in, come on in and see one of the Franks. We have two Franks here. And today we got three Franks. <laughs> Just our lucky time. Thanks for watching. Email me at santostomduck at comcast.net and uh, you should be reading Cut Up With A Good Book. And I'll see you next week. Thank, Thank you very you much, sir. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you very much. much.